Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Modi Bokeita. Modi Bokeita, who lived between 4th of June 1915 to 16th of May 1977, was the first president of Mali, ruling for eight years from 1960 to 1968. He was also the Prime Minister of the Mali Federation and was a strong advocate of African socialism. Keita was born in Bamako Kora, a neighborhood of Bamako which was the capital of French Sudan at the time. His family was Malian Muslims who claimed to be direct descendants of the founders of the Mali Empire. He schooled in Bamako and at the Ecole Normale William Ponty in Dakar, where he was top of his class. From 1936, he worked as a teacher in Bamako, Sikasso and Tombokto. Modibo Keita was involved in a number of associations. In 1937, he served as coordinator of the art and theater group. Along with Uezin Kolibali, he helped in the founding of the Union of French West African Teachers. Keita also joined the communist study group's GEC cell in Bamako. In 1943, he founded the Loyal de Kenedogo, a magazine that served to speak against colonial rule. This earned him three weeks imprisonment in 1946 at the Prison de la Sante in Paris. In 1945, Keita stood as a candidate for the Constituent Assembly of the French Fourth Republic, supported by GEC and the Sudanese Democratic Party. Later that same year, he and Mamadou Konate established the Bloc Sudanese, which developed into the Sudanese Union. In October 1946, the African Democratic Rally RDA, was established at a conference in Bamako by delegates from across French Africa. While the coalition was led by Félix Hofouet Baouni, Keita took up the post of RDA Secretary General in French Sudan and head of the Sudanese affiliate, the Sudanese Union African Democratic Rally USRDA. In 1948, Keita was elected General Counselor of French Sudan. Later in 1956, he was elected Mayor of Bamako and became a member of the French National Assembly. In a 1958 referendum in French West Africa, Keita campaigned for Sudan to become an autonomous state within the French community. His campaign was successful and in November 1958, the state was formed. Though hoping to create a West African federation of former French territories, Keita finally settled for a federation made up of only Senegal and his own Sudan. In January 1959, he became president of this short-lived Mali Federation, which collapsed in August 1960 due to disagreements between the Sudanese and Senegalese. Keita continued as president of the Sudan, which a congress of the ruling USRDA proclaimed the Independent Republic of Mali in September 1960. When the federation collapsed, the USRDA promised the Sudanese Republic's complete independence as the Republic of Mali. Keita became its first president and the USRDA was soon declared the only legal party. In June 1961, Keita paid a state visit to the United Kingdom, where Queen Elizabeth II made him an honorary Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. Although he was initially viewed with some caution by the United States because of his socialist views, he made it clear that he wanted good relations with Washington. In September 1961, he traveled to America and met with President John F. Kennedy and the two struck up a cordial friendship. On the political level, Modibo Keita wasted no time before imprisoning opponents like Philly Dabo Sissoko. The first post-independence elections in 1964 saw a single list of 80 USRDA candidates returned to the National Assembly and Keita was re-elected to another term as president by the legislature. Modibo Keita dedicated his entire life to African unity. 
He first played a major role in the creation of the Federation of Mali with Leopold Sedar Senghor. After the collapse of this short-lived federation, he parted with Leopold Sedar Senghor, but with Seko Tore of Guinea and Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, he established the Union of the States of Western Africa. In 1963, he also played an important role in drafting the Charter of the Organization of African Unity OAU. In 1963, he invited the King of Morocco and the President of Algeria to Bamako in the hope of ending the Sand War, a conflict between the two nations. Along with Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia, Keita was able to successfully negotiate the Bamako Accords, which brought an end to the conflict. As a result, he won the Lenin Peace Prize for 1963. From 1967, he began the Revolution Active and suspended the Constitution by creating the National Committee for the Defense of the Revolution CNDR. The activities of the Malise Populaire, that is, the USRDA militia, and the devaluation of the Malian franc in 1967 brought general unrest in the country. On the 19th of November 1968, General Moussa Traoré overthrew Modibo Keita in a coup d'état and had him sent to prison in the northern Malian town of Kidal. In February 1977, he was transferred back to Bamako in what was claimed to be a move by the government towards national reconciliation and a build-up to his release. But he died a prisoner on the 16th of May 1977. In 1992, following the overthrow of Moussa Traoré and the subsequent elections of President Alpha Umar Kona, his reputation was rehabilitated. A monument to Modibo Keita was erected and dedicated in Bamako on the 6th of June, 1999. What have we missed out of this biography of Modibo? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.